CCC family. It's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to do this wonderful cat pillow cover. Now it can also be a pillow. You can stuff it if you want to um, and you can obviously make this in any way that you want to but I'm going to let you know exactly how I did mine and it's super easy beginner friendly stuff. It's a basic granny square with a cute little kitty cat applique on it. And so it's just great fun and really easy. So let's get into our materials. Okay guys, so this is made for a 17 by 17 pillow. So in all, um, with all of the squares, the way I've measured them, the way I do them, um, they measure up to an 18 by um, 18. So that just gives you the little bit of overage you need to fit a 17 by 17 pillow. So this is a fairly large pillow. Um, and that's what I'm saying when I'm making these granny squares, if you wanted to make it smaller, you could, and if you wanted to make it bigger, you could. You could use a bigger hook, a bulkier yarn. You could use a smaller hook, a smaller yarn. You could make the granny square smaller. So all of this can be adjustable, but I'm gonna show you how to do it, ex like I said before, exactly the way that I did it. So I'm gonna give you all my measurements. So these are five by five granny squares, and I am using some um, of the doll eyes for my cat. Um, I got them off of Amazon. I will try to link them in the description box below. Um, but as you can see, the smallest ones right here is empty. And that's what I use for my cats, except for the black one, because I did not get colored eyes, but they do make those if you want those. Um, I just used a yellow yarn and did a little French knot for the eyes and then put in a different color nose because these are all black and you wouldn't have been able to see them on a black cat. Okay. And then I use black yarn just to do a cross there to make the nose. So these um, are all in different sizes. I did use some of these next step ups as well. Um, those are actually used for what you're, I'm going to be showing you today. Um, I, when I show you how to put all these together, they're a little bit bigger, but as you can see, they still look really good. So I want to say that this was a six millimeter all the way up to a really big size. And then these are the backs that go with them. Now I'll show you, sorry for the noise. I'll show you how to put these backs on, but they're all different sizes to match the different, um, doll eyes. Okay. So you're going to need those, um, but again, you do not have to use these. You can use yarn and make eyes just fine without them. Um, I just think it looks a little bit more polished and I think it looks better. You are going to need a pair of scissors and you are going to need a darning needle or you might call it a crochet needle. Um, I also use stick pins. I thought stick pins really came in handy. Again, you don't have to have stick pins, um, but I think that they help quite a bit when you're placing the cat um, and stuff like that. Okay, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. And also really sharing guys in any of your crochet groups or your friends, that really helps uh, so much. And um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Okay, so yeah, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I did wanna show you that this has a front and a back. Um, I'm gonna try to lift up my camera some so that you can see better. But this is one side of the pillow and this is the other. So each way has got, um, you could just do a regular backing on it, like crochet up and down, up and down, up and down, and do a regular backing if you chose to, but I wanted it to be on both sides. So um, there are nine uh, five by five granny squares on each side. So that's what you're gonna need, nine on each side. So you're gonna need a total of 18 five by five granny squares to fit the 17 by 17 pillow, okay? And as you can see, I just use all kinds of different colors. Um, you can get a variegated yarn so that you don't have to change colors. I did do that a couple times where I changed colors and no joke, it is a pain. And that's because the applique is small and you just have to uh, really work in those all those ends. Um, so you can see, you can use any colors you want though. If you want purple cats and blue cats, I just wanted to stay traditional. So you see, I've got some white, black with white on it. Um, this is a variegated yarn. Um, we've got kind of like a tan looking kitty here, a golden kitty, an orange kitty, a gray kitty. Again, this is variegated yarn over here. This is gray. And then if you flip it over, I've got a different kind of orange. You could also find um, crochet that has different textures to it, you know, that's really um, fluffy, things like that. But I found that really hard to work with, so I just kept it basic. This one changes colors. Um, so yeah, just all kinds of different colors. You can make them however you want, but I'm gonna show you 
um, for the granny square. I'm going to show you how to put all of these together. Now what I'm going to do then for the videos, I'm going to show you how to make like a miniature pillow. I'm going to use four granny squares and I'm going to make a miniature pillow and show you how to sew them all together, show you how to do the granny square and show you how to do the kitty cat. So as I told you, um, we're going to be using the four just to make a small pillow. So I'm going to do it just like this. So then we only have one left, which is what we're going to work today in the video. Now I did want to show you real quick, and I'm sorry that there's some explanations for this, but it's just a kind of a bigger project. So I've got to explain. I'll leave, um, uh, what is it called? Timestamps below and they'll be within the video if you want to skip ahead but at any rate um, because we're making a pillow and we're putting these back to back you're not going to see any of these ends so the ends that I do have all I do is knot them off the only ends that I'm going to work in is my final end that um, we do the siding with here the edging um, I work that in and that's pretty much it um, because like I said this pillow is going to be like this so you're not going to see any of the ends you know, so it's, it works out great. Now, if you're selling this or, you know, something like that, um, and it's a pillow cover. And so one part of it's going to have to be open. Um, you might want to work on all the ends so that it looks really professional. That's totally up to you. Okay. So these are the three that we have done already. And like I said, you can use any colors you want, but, um, I'm using, what I do is, is I do four rows with this color right here, that's the background where the kitty cat sits. And then I do another one row of another color and then I bring in this color, um, which is gonna be the color that you wanna use for every granny square because it pulls it all in uh, your edging. And um, so that's the one color that you want to stay the same. So I, that is, all of this was done with scrap um, yarn. I only had to buy one skein and I got Lion Brand, um, cotton yarn um, and I'll leave that in the description box below as well. Um, I used all wor worsted weight for yarn. I used all of that for this. Um, I don't, I think maybe the black cat was a three ply yarn and that's just because the yarn I had, but this is a great project for um, using all your scraps. The, like I said, this is the only ball of yarn I had to get um, and that's just so that I would have enough to go around all the edges, okay? So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to do the granny square. It is a basic granny square, um, but I still wanna show you exactly how to do it for the video. So to start the granny square, we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to slip stitch to the first chain from your hook just like that. Now you've got a little circle. You're gonna chain up three. That counts as your first double crochet. Then you're gonna yarn over, go into the circle, do another double crochet. Then you're going to chain two, and you're going to do two more double crochets. One and two. Then you're going to chain two, and work two more double crochets. And then again, chain two and two more double crochets. So now you have four sets of two double crochets. And then to end this, you're going to chain two and you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first chain of three. So here's our chain of three one, two, three, and to the top, you're going to do a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain up three. That counts as your double crochet over this double crochet. Then you're going to the top of the next one and do a double crochet. Then you're at a corner right here. And into this corner, I want you to put two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And now we're right here on the top of these double crochets. So what you're gonna do is move this over like that, yarn over into the top of this double crochet, you're gonna put a double crochet. And the top of the, top of the next double crochet, you're gonna put a double crochet. 
and into the corner you're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And now you're at the top of these double crochets from before and you're going to put one double crochet on the top of each of those, one and two. And now you're back at another corner. So you're going to do two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And now you're on the top of these double crochets right here. So you're gonna put a double crochet in the top of each of those, one and two. And now you're in the corner and you're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, and now you're right here where you chain three where you first began. And so right at the top of that chain of three, you're going to put a slip stitch to join them together. And as you can see, now we have a little square. So we're gonna repeat that again, chain up three. That counts as the double crochet over this right here. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch and put a double crochet. Into your next stitch, put a double crochet. And into the next stitch, put a double crochet. Then you're in a corner, you're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Now one thing I do want to tell you to do, a lot of people, um, this is just a little trick for granny squares and sometimes this happens, we forget this first stitch right here. So make sure you move this over so that you get right on the top of this double crochet right here because oftentimes this will cover it. So now you're just going to work double crochets all the way across until you get to your next corner. So one double crochet in each stitch. And now you're at a corner and you're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So you're gonna keep doing that all the way around. Work double crochets in every stitch till you get a corner. When you get to your corner, work two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets, and then work a double crochet across here. And when we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so we just worked our last corner right here. I'm gonna move this to the side so I can make sure I get these last two stitches that I need. And I'm gonna double crochet right here and then double crochet into my next stitch. And now I know that I'm right here where I did this first chain of three and so I'm gonna slip stitch right to the top of that. And I finished row three. So now we're going to chain three and we're gonna do one more row of this color, okay? So after our chain of three, that counts as our first double crochet, we're gonna do just like we did before. We're gonna go into our next stitch, work a double crochet into the next. So you're gonna work double crochets all the way down till you get to your corner. When you get to the corner, you're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And again, make sure you move that over. And then you're gonna double crochet in each stitch all the way across until you get to your corner. And then you're just gonna repeat all the way around. So I want you to go ahead and do that on your own and I'm gonna do it too. And then I'll meet you back in just a minute when we get close to the end. Okay, so now we've made it back to our last corner. So we're gonna go right in there and we're gonna work our two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And then right across the top here, we're going to put a double crochet in each stitch that we have left. So there's one, two, three, and four. 
If you have a hard time finding your last stitch or wondering where exactly it should go, look at your chain of three that you first did and point right down under it to see that it's going right over the double crochet. And if you need to, you can count them. Okay, so right into this double, this last double crochet, we're going to start a double crochet. So we've yarned over, we've pulled up our loop, but we're only gonna go through two loops because now we're gonna bring in our other color. So now I'm gonna bring in the pink and I'm gonna finish off that double crochet with the pink. Then I'm gonna turn my work over. This yarn right here that I'm working, the gray yarn I was working with, I'm going to tie a knot once and twice, just like that, so it doesn't come undone. Then I'm gonna turn it back over. At this point, you can cut off, cut off your gray if you want to. And now I'm going to do a slip stitch right into this top of this chain of three. Okay, now we've got our pink yarn worked in. And right there, we're going to chain three. And into our next stitch, we're going to put a double crochet and just like any of the other rows, we're going to put a double crochet and each stitch across till we get to our corner. Then when we get to our corner, we're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And then we're right here on the top again. Don't forget to move your yarn over so you can see your first stitch. And now you're just gonna work double crochets all the way across. Just like that. And then when you get to your next corner, you're gonna do just like we've been doing before, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, make sure you work in every stitch across and just keep doing that all the way around. And when you get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so we've worked almost all the way around. We finished our last corner and now we're going to just double crochet over here to the end. So I'm gonna do these last couple double crochets. And for this last double crochet, I'm just gonna go through my first two loops and I'm gonna bring in this white colored yarn here. It's actually cream colored a little bit, but. And just like we changed colors before, we're gonna finish our double crochet with this white, turn over my yarn, and now I'm going to tie a knot and see I've got my hook still in there to hold that loop into place. And I'm not tying a really tight knot either because you want to be able to work your loop still. You can tie a tighter, tighter knot later. Okay, and so we've got that worked in. Now you can cut off your pink yarn. So now we're going to start on our sixth row. So we have one, two, three, four rows. The pink was our fifth, and now we're working on our sixth row. So the top of this chain of three, we're going to slip stitch with the white yarn. And then for this, we're going to chain one. And then right into that same spot where you just slip stitched and chained one on the top of, you're going to put a single crochet, just like that. And then you're going to put single crochets all the way down. And I want you to leave these stitches a little bit loose don't do them very tightly because this is what we're going to be working around and we need to be able to get into these stitches. So don't work them real tight. And then when you get into your corner, I want you to do two single crochets, chain two, and then two single crochets. And then right here as you're going across, make sure you don't forget this first stitch, you're gonna put single crochets all the way around. Just keeping them nice and loose, not too loose. And then when you get to your next corner again, make sure that you do two single crochets, 
chain two, and two more single crochets. If you need to move them over, you can. And make sure that you don't miss this first stitch here. Okay, so you just keep doing that all the way around, those single crochets all the way around, and then we get close to the end, I'll meet you back okay. up. Okay, so we've worked, just worked our last single crochet, and now what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet. So not into this chain one right here, but into the actual single crochet, you're going to do a slip stitch, just like this. And then you're going to cut off. Now, you're gonna cut off enough to work in because this piece you are definitely going to be working in. So I'm gonna leave a little bit there to work in. Just like that. And now let's turn this over and look at what we've got in the back. So what I wanna do, because like I told you, I'm not gonna uh, work these in because um, I'm making the pillow and they're gonna be on the inside. But like I said, if you wanna sell this or something like that and you want it to look more professional, you may need to work them in, but I'm just going to knot them again so I know that they're not gonna come undone within the pillow. Remember, I already knotted them once, so I'm gonna knot them again. This has been worked over from the beginning there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them a little bit, just so where they don't hang off the sides. So I'm just gonna take them all in my hand. You do wanna leave some so they don't come undone, but basically just like that, and then I'm gonna leave those right there. Then I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna work this end in. After we work this end in, then I'm going to um, show you how to do the kitty cat. And this is a cotton yarn, so it likes to come undone. So what I like to do is, because this is the um, place here where we just tied in our yarn, I like to flip it over, work through the back. So I'm gonna go right through this right here. And then I'm going to work it three times. One, two, and then I'm gonna go this way. And then I actually I'll probably do it like four times. Just want to make sure it doesn't come undone. And now you can cut off. Okay. And so now you've got your granny square for your kitty cat. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to use my yellow and I'm going to show you how to make the applique for the cat. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to chain 24. One, two, three, four, three. and 24. And then what you're going to do is you're going to work two single crochets in the next 14, sti uh, 13 stitches. So there's two single crochets in the first one. And the second. And the third. And after you do those two single crochets and those 13 stitches, you should have 10 left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So in your next 10 stitches, you're just going to put one single crochet. Now here is the tail that we created and now it's nice and curly from doing those two single crochets. So in each stitch of the next 10, you're going to put one single crochet. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and now you're going to do 10 single crochets across again. Starting in this first stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. So now we have two rows of single crochet. So what I'd like you to do is do six more rows of single crochet. So chain one, turn your work, and do single crochets all the way down. And let's do that for six more rows, okay? And when you get done with that, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so we finished those six rows, and now we've got our body and our tail, and now we're going to work on the head. So what we're going to do is we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and we're gonna start decreasing. So in these first two stitches, we're going to single crochet two together. So to do that, you're going to pull your yarn up. There's once, go into your next stitch, pull your yarn up. Go through all three loops. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch, one, into the next, two, three, four, five, and in these last two stitches, you're going to two together. So go in, pull up your yarn, go into your next stitch, pull up your yarn, go through all three loops. Then chain one, turn your work. And now you're going to, again, decrease in these first two stitches. Then you're going to do one, two, three single crochets. And in these last two, you're going to work two single crochets together. Then you're going to chain one. And now you're going to start making your ears, okay? So now into this, after you chain one and turn your work into this first stitch, you're gonna put a single crochet. Then you're gonna chain up three. And then in that same stitch, you're going to put a slip stitch. Just like that. Then you're going to slip stitch in your next two and three stitches. And then in this last one, you're going to put a single crochet, chain three, go back into that same space and do a slip stitch. For the end here, I want you to leave a big long piece because this is the piece you're going to sew on your cat with, okay? So I've left a, I don't know, about two foot there, probably more than I need. And now you can work in the ends here. Okay, just like that. And now we're gonna work in this piece. So this piece right here that we started with, we're going to work in. And remember, we're gonna leave the other one really long because we're gonna work that onto the granny square. So I'm just gonna pull this in. I'm gonna work this in three times, trying to stay in the back of the cat. One, two, three. And now I can cut that off. Okay. So now I'm going to take my granny square. I'm gonna pull it right down here. And I'm just gonna see how this looks. I think it looks good, okay? So now we're gonna do the eyes. So I wanna show you how to do these eyes real quick in case you've never worked with safety eyes, doll eyes. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna use that, this step up here, which I think is probably a seven, I think. So I'm gonna take two of these. Then I'm gonna find the corresponding ends for them. So I'm gonna find the littlest ones I can find or the ones that work with these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna decide where I want to put my eyes. Now where I've been putting my eyes, they're not really all the same in each one. Some of the yarns are a little bit different, so they look a little different. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go down and I'm probably going to go right here. So along the inner ear line all the way down is where I'm probably gonna put my eye. I might change it, don't know yet. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one right there. And then I'm gonna to go to the other side, the inner ear, work my way down, 
and put that one right there. Sometimes it can be hard to get through. You might want to try to find a little hole there. Okay, I think that looks good. I think this one's over a little bit, but that's all right. All right, so then we're gonna turn them over. So I'm not gonna put them through here first and then go through the back and put them in uh, because you really don't have that much room for them. If you wanna do it that way, you can. You could go through the back and put them in on the other side, but I think it causes it to flatten out. So I'm actually just gonna put them on just like this. So you take the other smaller side, not the wide side, but the small side, and you're going to place that over that. <laughs> and you're gonna push from one side and then push from the other. And they can be a little difficult to get in. I'm gonna push it through the top and then push all the way down, just like that to hold it into place. And then I'm gonna do the other one the same exact way. Just like that, and that's what it looks like. And then I place this onto my granny square like that and then they'll push through. But first I'd like to make a little nose on here. So I'm gonna take some of my black yarn and I'm going to thread it onto a darning needle. I don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm going to, over here by my eye, I'm gonna go right in here. And I'm just going by looks, guys, I don't, um, necessarily count the rows, but if you wanted to, it would have been one, two, three, the fourth row down, but right close across from the eye there, I'm gonna put that in, and then I'm gonna go over here with it. And then I'm gonna come up here around the same area, and I'm gonna bring in the yarn over here and go down on the other side, just like that. Then I'm gonna take the back, these two pieces, I'm gonna take it off my darning needle, and I'm going to tie, it, tie a knot. And because these are being sewn on, I do not need to work any of the black in, okay? So I'm going to knot that. And then I'm gonna cut off just enough where there's a little bit left, but so it doesn't come out on the sides when I'm sewing this together or sewing it on. So now I'm gonna place my, I'm gonna place it pretty straight on where I've got enough side left over here. So I'm gonna place it right in the middle of the granny square. And as you can see, when I tied a knot, it made this side go in. So I'm just going to pull that out just a little bit with my uh, darning needle. But at any rate, I'm gonna press that back down. And this is where my stick pins are gonna come in handy. So I'm gonna place it just where I want it, and then I'm going to put a stick pin here, and then I'm gonna put a stick pin in the top. And this is just so this doesn't move while I'm sewing it on, okay? So let me show you how to sew this on. So I'm gonna take this big long piece of the yellow for the cat and I've put it on my darning needle. And now I've got it in place so I can turn it any which way I want. And the way I sew this on is I'm just going in and out. So I'm gonna go right down the line and I'm gonna stay pretty close. I'm not gonna make big uh, stitches here. So I'm just going in and out of my work like this. And sometimes it will pick up these pieces in the back, so be careful. But you see, I just came back through and I'm just gonna go a little bit over because if you make really long stitches going down, you're gonna be able to see them. And I want them to just flow in with the cat so you can't see them very well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around the whole cat like this.
Just doing little stitches. And if you want to put more stick pins, you can to keep it more in place. You can definitely do that. Because even doing it like this, sometimes it moves a little bit. And so now I'm at the bottom here and I'm just going to be doing the same thing going in and out all the way around. And now I'm back up on this side and we are going to pull up the tail a little bit so it stretches out it doesn't look so curly because uh, cat's tails really aren't that curly but we wanted to have some movement in the tail so we wanted to have some curl So now I'm working back up to the top where my ears are. I want to make sure I keep the outline correct. I can go right up to the top and pull up a little bit even to give it a little bit more structure. And right here is where I came in. So I'm gonna pull that right through there. And voila, we are all done with um, sewing our kitty cat on. So I'm gonna turn this over. And because I don't have anything to tie this with, I am gonna work this piece in. So right here where I see the yellow, where I see the cat, I'm gonna work behind it so you cannot see it in the rest of the granny square, okay? So I'm just going to work it through a couple times and then I'm going to cut off. And now I would like to bring this tail up so it doesn't look so curly. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring it up to right about there, just where it shows some movement. And I'm going to take this, this piece I just cut off, I'm going to use that, I'm going to go into the end of my tail here leaving some in the back so that I can knot it together when I'm done. And I'm just gonna put one little stitch here going in and out. And that'll just keep that tail raised so it doesn't look so curly, but still has movement. Okay, so one, two, I'm just gonna knot this off. I'm gonna do it three times. Remember, I wanna leave enough so that it stays within the granny square, but not too low so that it can come undone. So I'm just gonna cut off right about there. So all of these ends right here are gonna stay on the inside. And then we flip it over and then we can take out our stick pins. And then you are all done with your kitty cat granny scar. Doesn't that look so cool? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to piece all of these together. So it's really easy. All you're gonna do is a single crochet. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, they're gonna to fit together just like that, that, where I did two single crochets, chain two and two single crochets. So right into that chain space, I'm gonna put my hook there. And into this other chain space, I'm gonna put my hook. And I'm gonna bring in the white yarn right there where that is, okay? And right into that chain space, I'm going to put a single crochet. Right into where we brought in our yarn, okay? 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working in the back loops only to pull this together. So I wanna make sure I go right into my next stitch. So my next stitch is right here, and I'm gonna be working through the back loop only, okay? And then I'm gonna catch this uh, loop right here, which would actually be the front loop because it's closest to you. But if you look, turn this over, it's actually the back. But either way, that's the stitches you're going through. You're gonna pull through, and you're gonna do a single crochet. Then you're gonna go into the next, go through the back, go through the back there, pull up, and do a single crochet. And you're just gonna keep going all the way down. Okay, so when you get to the end here, you're coming up to where you're going to go in in between these two single crochets again. But I want you to work this stitch right here as well. Okay, this very last one before that. And then I want you to go into, again, in between these two single crochets on each side and do one single crochet, okay? So that's how you join these together, just like that. And then you would do the same for over here. You would do the same for this side. And then after you got done with both of those, I guess I'm just gonna call them panels, then you would turn them on the side. These would be together as well. And then you would just start at the same place, start in between these uh, two sets of single crochets, the chain space, bring it in right there, go all the way down, and the same at the other end. So that's the way that you're gonna do that. And then you're gonna take, once they're all sewn together, you're gonna have two sides. Remember, you're gonna have the nine on the top and the nine on the other side. And then you're gonna do the same thing with that. You're going to place um, the one side under here, and then you're going to sew them together just like I just showed you. You do wanna remember, though, to leave the top open if this is a pillow cover so that you can put the pillow inside. But if you're just gonna stuff it, then you can do that as well. And then after you stuff it, then you can close it up. And again, you're using the same stitch. So I hope you love this, guys. Um, this has been a lot of fun for me to create this kind of tutorial. I think the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm really into these pillow covers, so I'd really like to try a turtle one. Um, and so yeah, so I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.